Hi everyone! Welcome back to another Sticker Sunday video. Today I am sharing with you guys my Black Friday Michaels haul. So these are all of the items that I purchased at Michaels um, during their Black Friday sale. Now I did purchase quite a few stickers from small shops on Etsy um, and I'm still kind of waiting for those to come in. Some of them have come in already, some are still, I'm still waiting on. Um, so that one's going to be a separate video. So this is kind of like part one of my Black Friday uh, sticker purchases. Um, but like I said, these items I went into Michael's and picked up and so I thought I would go ahead and just share those with you now um, while we're, you know, here and I've got them and I actually want to start using these items. So yeah, um, I'm, I've got some stickers, I've got some planners, and I've also got some extension packs. So I guess let's go ahead and start with the planners and get into it. The first little item that I picked up is this Happy Notes. Now this one is adorable. Um, it's a 60 sheet Happy Notes book and it says, looks bright. I think it says... This year looks bright and it's on her sunglasses. Um, I just, this was on clearance. I want to say it was like three or four bucks. And I'm almost completely out of the paper in my uh, current little happy notes. These things are just awesome. They're like pocket size. They're smaller than my hand. They're great to throw into your purse and kind of just use as note paper when, it's, when you need it. Um, so this was on clearance. Like I said, I just thought I would pick it up because... I can never have too many of these. So that is the Happy Notes. And then I purchased two different planners on Black Friday. Now, I do want to say I already um, have purchased and am excited to set up my personal planners for 2021. Um, I have a Disney one that I'm using and I also have the planner that's in collaboration with Teresa Collins. So I will link the videos up above where I share those. Um, and I will also have a video coming up this month about setting up my 2021 planners uh, because I'm really excited to actually put them together and get started for the new year. Um, I haven't done that yet, but I was on the lookout for a social media planner. So this might shock some of you, but I'm, I'm leaning towards not using a happy planner for the social media planner this year. I know, I know. I'm kind of between these two. I haven't decided exactly how I'm going to use which one. One of them is happy planner and one of them is not. Um, and I haven't decided yet. So that video will be like the for sure confirmation on which one I use for what. But this one is the 12 month horizontal layout uh, pocket planner, I believe is what it's called. It's a really thin um, kind of planner. It does have the disc system and everything like that, but it's a really interesting layout. Um, this one right here is the planner that I have been using this year for my social media planning. I love this one. This is actually the faith planner for 2020. Um, and I loved the scripture verses in it. I love this cover and all of that. But to be honest, this year, this planner was just a bit too much for me for what we need it for. Um, I was just, there was just too many pages. I didn't need a monthly page for, for every week. Um, and it was just kind of a lot. So I wanted to scale down a little bit. And so just in comparison, this is the pocket planner. You can see how much smaller it is. It is quite a bit smaller. Um, and I just thought this would be a great option, potential option for our social media planner. The, and I'll walk you through it in just a minute. The other planner that I'm kind of going back and forth between is this one. It is a Recollections 12 month side hustle spiral planner. That's what it's called is their side hustle planner. Um, and this one, I just, I'm really like gravitating towards the innards of this planner. Um, it has a lot of cool extra pages inside that I'm really thinking would be great for us for social media for this year. So these are the two I'm between. Um, so let me walk you through this one first and then we'll get into the recollections one. So this one, it says wildflower. It's this really pretty blue marble on the front. And then when you get into it, um, it's the skinny mini layout. Um, it makes it easy to track errands, appointments, and daily adventures because um, it's a very small size. And then you have your This Planner Belongs To page. 
And then these notes pages are actually on the front of every single month. So it does give you lots of just places for notes and things like that. And then you have your monthly tabs along the side. So for each month, this is what the first page looks like. So you have a January, a small little calendar page, and then a place for notes and ideas. And then you have the lined um, horizontal version of the month. So you can write like specific things that are going on each day. And then these are what the weekly pages look like. So this is why it's a horizontal versus a vertical layout because you literally just have these little boxes for every single day. Um, and it's just an open space. So you can write whatever you want. You can use whatever stickers you want and it leaves a lot of um, options. So basically every single month is like this. And then at the end of every single month you have the notes page and then the divider. So um, this one, oh, I love this divider. It says, a flower does not think of competing with the flower next to it. It just blooms. <laughs> so you've got this divider. Flowers need time to bloom. So do you. So they're all like flower themed. The, the theme of it is wildflower. Um, stop shrinking to fit places you've outgrown. In a field of roses, she's a wildflower. Trust the timing of your life. Keep going and growing. Be like a flower and reach for the sun. You are the only you that will ever be. You are kind of a big deal. <laughs> Find your happy and a beautiful day begins with a beautiful mindset. And I love the foil on that one. So I just thought this one was a something completely new. It's definitely on the smaller side. And I liked how it was kind of a mix between a notebook and a planner. So that is this one. So I'm still, like I said, between the two, but that's the Happy Planner um, Skinny Mini Planner. And then this one is the planner from Recollections. So this one, I honestly have never really looked at the Recollections planners before because every time I'm in Michael's, I'm like going to the Happy Planner aisle. Um, and this one is, I believe, I mean, it's the, it's the brand Recollections, but I want to say they're like created for Michael's. That's kind of their brand. Um, but I was really intrigued, like I said earlier, by the innards of this one. So it's their Side Hustle Planner. And it's kind of like the size of a mini happy planner. Um, it's kind of like that in-between size. I loved the purple marble on this one. And then it says, keep planning, let's hustle. And then these are the kind of pages, I'm actually going to zoom you in so you guys can see really well what this planner has. But it has these project lists, and then you can have a place for a deadline and a checkbox. I thought these kind of pages would be great for planning video content, for planning collaborations, things like that. I just thought these would be so useful. Um, so it says project idea, the breakdown, and then a brainstorming page. So one of the things that I found I actually used most in the um, social media planner this year was actually just notes pages. <laughs> I used just random notes pages and then the monthly views of every month and that was basically it. So I thought with this one it kind of combines those two things. It has planner monthly pages and then it also just has these extra pages that we can use for writing notes and things. And then this page I thought was really interesting and this one says monthly project. You have the start date, the deadline, the budget, um, description, and then you have goals and focuses and then a work in progress bar. And then this over here is a monthly tracker. So I just thought this one gave so much room for opportunity um, and I really, really liked it. So this is actually on the front divider of every single month. So when you flip to the next month, it's the same pink page. But this is what the monthly spread looks like. So this is an undated planner, um, which to be honest, it doesn't bother me that much because I do have plenty of dates and holidays. Um, stickers that I can use in this and I thought it would be kind of fun. It gives me something a little bit creative to do inside the social media planner, but I'm not like doing a full on sticker spread with the social media planner, which I haven't really done. Um, I did that I think like the first few months that I had my social media planner. Most of it then was just functional stickers and then I leave the decor and the, the creative planning for my personal planner. Um, but then this one is a horizontal layout as well. So you just have lines. So you have your different days of the week and then lines in which to write 
tasks or things that you need to do or deadlines or all that kind of stuff. You can just write it week by week. And then at the end of those you have again the monthly divider and then the month. So all of that um, repeats throughout this entire planner and then um, at the end so each of these they're not month or they don't have months or dates on them at all so I can go ahead and put those in later um, and then you just have extra notes sheets in the back. So I just really liked how much flexibility was in this planner um, and yeah I thought it was really cool. This also totally reminds me of um, the purple wall in Magic Kingdom which I thought was perfect too so yeah. So these are the two that I'm between. I haven't decided exactly which one I'll be using, but in that um, 2021 planner setup video, I will tell you which one I've decided on and how I'm planning to use it. So those are the two planners that I picked up on the sale. And I can also mention that Happy Planner was um, doing 50% off of all of their planner items, which was fabulous. That's such a great deal. So um, usually I'll wait till Black Friday if I want to stock up on sticker books, if I want to stock up on planners. I usually wait to get that sale because it is awesome. So these are the two sticker books that I bought. I actually did really good in not purchasing a ton of sticker books um, because I do, I, I have a few. So I was trying to like keep the restraint. So these are the two that I picked up. I have the new goals sticker book and the recipe sticker book. So I will go ahead and flip through these books. This one was released in 2019. Um, so, but it is the newer version of the goals sticker book. I have the older version and I've almost used it all up because I love how many like inspirational quotes and things are in these books. So again, I'll zoom you back in and we can take a flip through of this sticker book. So it's basically just a lot of um, inspirational quotes. This one has a lot of fun like foiling and stuff in it as well. These big dreams take action boxes. So these are great. You can put little ideas and things inside the thought bubbles. You have your headers, focus today, take action, must do list. You have some big goal boxes. You can kind of mix these into your weekly spreads. Um, we have my why, I can, I will, do the work, rise and shine, my best, yes, and making it happen. And then you have your planning uh, sheet. So you have the dream, the plan, and then how to you keep planning, keep dreaming. I just thought it was really cool how they've kind of split this one up into not only your goals and your ideas, but also ways that you can make it happen. So this one says, challenge yourself. This year I will, this month I will, this week I will, or today I will. So you, it gives you all the different options of how you can use that sticker. Goal crushed. <laughs> that one has the gold foiling on the bottom. Lots of different like headers and quarter boxes, which I love. You know how much I use my full and quarter boxes. I think they're great. I've got some deadline stickers. So these I just find you can use them for absolutely everything. Um, Dream it, do it. That's kind of based on like a Walt Disney quote. So that's pretty cool. Um, some gold stars. Goal getter. Um, ooh, these are cool. Some like different arrows. Big goals this month. So goal number one, goal number two, goal number three. This is a long um, box sticker there. One day at a time. And then you've got your weekly tracking stickers. I love these hexagons. I've actually started um, becoming a huge fan of the hexagons. I've found so many ways you can use them. So you've got the action steps, one, two, three, action steps, one, two, three. So that gives you kind of the headers. Task list. Some more of those long stickers. Rescheduled, task complete, no excuses, canceled. Um, some more of these positive quote boxes. So these are a little bit more of like your goal labeling, I guess. So you have long term, short term, this week. Um, and you've got some more of those long boxes. So this one's actually pretty repetitive of a book, which I like because when I find a sticker that I like, I like to have lots of them so I can continue to use them as much as I want to. 
and then it ends with some quotes. So that is it for the goals book. Like I said, I um, mostly use these for the functional boxes and the inspirational quotes and this one has lots of those so I picked this one up and then I also picked up the recipe planner so this or the recipe sticker book excuse me so I actually picked up this one and this um caregiver um extension pack for gifts so they're going to be Christmas gifts and yes I have told the person that they are going to to not watch this video um but they are going to be gifts and I think they're going to be super fun one of my favorite things to gift is actually planning supplies because I feel like one a lot of people that are close to me also like planning like me but also I think it's a really fun gift because then they can choose to use it however they want to um and it's just yeah, it gives a lot of options. So this one, oh my gosh, a party without a cake is just a meeting. I loved how many actual food photos were in this one. I thought it was so cute. People who love to eat are always the best people. Life is what you bake it. Squeeze the day. I love food puns like they're the best. Oh, we got the grocery list stickers. Ooh, this one's got the foiled full boxes. That's awesome. These are actually the double full boxes. Weekly staples. You can make grocery lists on here. They give you quite a few of those. Gluten-free, sugar-free, dairy-free, vegetarian. Those are pretty cool. Low carb, vegan, slow cooker, one pot meal. So you can kind of use them as label headers. Kid-friendly, family fave, meal prep. And then these are the weekly menu uh, stickers. So you have each day of the week that you can kind of fill in as you will. And they have those in all the different colors as well. Ooh, and rainbow. Super fun. Meal plan, change of plans, take out and celebrate. I love the mason jars. Those are so cute. So then we've got some like little icon stickers as well that all have to do with food. Ooh, this is fun. So I think these are supposed to be eggs, but they kind of look like potatoes. <laughs> I will take them as either. I love eggs and I love potatoes, so that's fine. We got some fun little food, bananas, lots of vegetable stickers, recipe review so you can kind of give it a review of how much you liked it or your family liked it favorite recipe and then some just empty headers so you can kind of use those scripts that were earlier in the book to fill those out checklists you know how I love my checklists <laughs> they are really versatile you can use them for everything and I love these rose gold ones too I think those are so pretty so a dinner with friends, new recipe, and then some like rainbow dots. So that is a super cool book. I love this one. I love how many uh, sticker icons are in here because you can use those in really anything, but especially like recipe planning or making to-do lists. So there is that one. And then I'm actually not going to open this one just because I feel like it's not going to be mine and I feel like that's really hard to like put it all back together but this is the caregiver extension pack and so um it says it has like the different um tabs but then you also have like some really cool different boxes in here you have weekly dashboards um you have like different date headers and stuff like that and this one was released um in 2020 so this is actually one of the brand new extension packs um, which I always love to see what new extension packs come out, um, especially when it's relating to like the holidays or a specific season of the year. I just love the undated extension packs. So that is about it for this haul. Like I said, I do have quite a few small shop uh, planner stickers coming, so those will be in a separate video, but I hope that you enjoyed seeing what I picked up from Michaels this year, and let me know, did you do any planner shopping during Black Friday? I would love to know what you picked up, and if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below so you don't miss that next haul or any of my future sticker content, and I will see you guys next time.